بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ناؤ اوور نیکسٹ ٹاپک از دا فزیولوجک فنکشنس آف دا تھائرائڈ ہارمونس تھائرائڈ ہارمونس آر ویری امپورٹنٹ ہارمونس اینڈ دے ایگزرٹ اے نمبر آف فنکشنس آن دا ہول آف دا باڈی اینڈ ایز آئی ہیو ٹولڈ یو ڈیٹ ٹی تھری از مور امپورٹنٹ دین ٹی فور اینڈ ٹارگیٹ ٹیشوز دے کنورٹ ٹی فور انٹو ٹی تھری ٹی فور از تھائروکسین اینڈ ٹی تھری از ٹرائی آئیڈو تھائرونین So the very first function is that thyroid hormones, they increase the transcription of genes and a large number of proteins are formed, uh, including the structure proteins and the transport proteins. Uh, then a very important function of thyroid hormones that it increases the basal metabolic rate uh, and oxygen consumption in all the tissues except the brain, gonads and spleen. And so whenever there is increased basal metabolic rate, so it will result in the increase heat production and that clarifies the role of uh, thyroid hormones in regulating the temperature. Thyroid hormones also increases the number and activity of mitochondria. So um, uh, that uh, increase the ATP formation. So energy is also produced and also thyroid hormones increases the activity of sodium potassium pump. And as we know that this process uses energy. and also heat is produced. So it may be considered as one of the mechanism through which um, thyroid hormones, they increases uh, basal metabolic rate. Now, what about the metabolic effects of the thyroid hormones? Uh, thyroid hormone, as I've told you, a number of metabolic effects, including the effects on the uh, carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism, and the protein metabolism. In carbohydrate, uh, thyroid hormone increases all aspects of uh, glucose metabolism, including the glycolysis and increased glucogenogenesis, that is the formation of new glucose, increased glycogenolysis, that is the breakdown of glycogen into the glucose and glucose absorption from GIT. And in case of lipid metabolism, it is a lipolytic hormone, that is it causes breakdown of lipids. and increases the concentration of free fatty acids in the plasma. Uh, as far as the protein uh, effect on the protein metabolism is concerned, it causes enhanced protein synthesis and also it increases protein degradation. So the overall effect of the thyroid hormone is catabolic. Uh, this is uh, a university question that uh, what are the effects of thyroid hormones on growth? And this effect, it is mostly seen in the growing children. Thyroid hormone acts along with the growth hormone to promote bone formation. Uh, thyroid hormone causes bone maturation uh, by forming the ossification and fusion of the growth plates. Attainment of the adult structure also requires thyroid hormone. Uh, in a child who has more thyroid hormone, um, its height will be increased. There is excessive skeletal growth. Whenever the thyroid hormone is more, there will be excessive skeletal growth. And if the child is having the more thyroid hormone, uh, then its height will be increased at an earlier age. And oppositely, if the um, if, if, he, if a child has decreased thyroid hormone, then he or she will be remain short stature. So thyroid hormone has a very important effect on the development of brain Uh, maturation of uh, CNS in, uh, requires thyroid hormone in the perinatal life. So if we have the decreased thyroid hormone, then uh, it will affect both development and the maturation of brain. And the brain will remain small in size. So um, uh, if, if, if this thyroid hormone is decreased and uh, uh, the baby is born, so we have to give the hormone replacement therapy within a few days after birth. So there is a very uh, short perinatal uh, uh, period to for the hormone replacement therapy. Otherwise, the uh, child will remain uh, thyroid deficient throughout the life. So that's why uh, because there is a short perinatal period for, um, uh, for the hormone replacement therapy. So the screening for the neonatal hypothyroidism is mandatory. So we know beforehand that the fetus is uh, thyroid deficient. So we should give uh, him or her the hormone replacement uh, immediately after birth or within a few days after birth. So as the, uh, it is shown in the diagram that thyroid hormone T3 and T4, 
they have a number of effects on the whole body system. So I have told you about the brain development, that thyroid hormone are very important for the brain. We will see in the future the clinical disorders. They are cretinism. Uh, when uh, the thyroid hormone is deficient, the uh, patient or the infant will can develop cretinism. And then we have uh, the effect on the body weight. If there is increased thyroid hormone, the body weight will be decreased. And if the thyroid hormones are decreased, then there will be increased body weight. I have told you about the body temperature because thyroid hormone is involved with the increase in the basal metabolic weight. So it is concerned with the increase in the body temperature. Thyroid hormone has effect on the both. It causes maturation of the both. Plus, if there is increased, slight increase in the thyroid hormone, the muscles will react with bigger. Muscle contractions will be more. But if there is excessive thyroid hormone, then due to increased protein catabolism, muscle will become weak. And a very, very important effect of thyroid hormone on the CVS and the heart rate, it acts directly on the heart. It activates beta-1 adrenergic receptors to increase the heart rate. And uh, tachycardia is one of the important clinical signs for a clinician to diagnose uh, the thyroid, uh, any uh, pathophysiology related with the thyroid gland. And if a patient is having a tachycardia, the very first test which the clinician advise will be thyroid function test. Uh, then uh, on respiration, thyroid hormone increases the rate and depth of respiration. I have told you it increases all the aspects of metabolism of glucose, including glycolysis, gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. And, and the effect of thyroid hormone on the female reproductive tract is that if there are more thyroid hormone, it will lead to polymenorrhagia. And uh, if there is decreased thyroid hormone, it may lead to amenorrhea or oligomenorrhea. And um, thyroid hormone, they decreases uh, plasma cholesterol level and triglyceride level. Um, and if there is a dec a decreased thyroid hormone, then the cholesterol level will be increased. So it causes deposition of fat in the liver cells, thyroid hormone. Here is another diagram um, which is showing the effect of thyroid hormone. That is increased protein synthesis and uh, ATP formation, glucose metabolism. I have told you already one of the effect of the thyroid hormone on the GIT. Uh, in which it increases the motility of the GIT. So if there is increased thyroid hormone, it will lead to diarrhea. Or if there is decreased thyroid hormone, then it will lead to um, constipation. Also, there are uh, thyroid hormone have got the excitatory effect on the central nervous system. So uh, it increases the rapidity of cerebration. And uh, the patient who is hyperthyroid, uh, he uh, would tend to be nervous or anxiety or paranoia, I will explain these uh, symptoms when we will discuss the clinical disorders related to thyroid hormone. So these are the effects on the CVS. There are direct effects and there are indirect effects. First, we will see the direct effects. As I have told you, thyroid hormone, they activate beta receptors in the heart, which will lead to tachycardia and it will lead to increase the uh, overall effect on the, on the CVS is the increased cardiac output. So thyroid hormone also causes increased myocardial contractility. And uh, here again, if the slight thyroid hormone is increased, the, the cardiac strength will be increased. But if the thyroid hormone is increased very much, then, uh, then the uh, strength of the heart will be depressed. And increased stroke volume, which is related to ultimately increased cardiac output. So these are the direct effects and through indirect effects, we know that uh, thyroid hormone increases the basal metabolic rate, which in turn increases the oxygen consumption and uh, the various end products they are produced and which lead to the vasodilation. So increased blood flow, uh, especially in the skin, uh, which eliminates heat from the body. So all these effects when there is vasodilation, we know that it will lead to increased cardiac output and normal arterial pressure that remains uh, arterial pressure that remains normal with the increase in the pulse pressure. 
So these were all about the uh, physiologic functions of the thyroid hormone. Thank you so much, students.